In this video, we'll go over how to calculate the AM1.5G intensity using Excel. The same techniques can be calculated with code, such as with MATLAB, but first we'll start off with Excel to show the calculations more visually. After calculating the AM1.5G intensity, we'll then use the same AM1.5G spectra to calculate the detailed balance limit or highest theoretical efficiency of a single junction solar cell. With AM1.5G, the total intensity is 1000 watts per meter squared, and so we're going to first find out how to calculate that. So to do that, we first need to find the AM1.5 spectra. Here we're at the NREL website, where it already has the AM1.5 spectra measured and graphed. And so you can see um, the AM0, AM1.5, and AM1.5D spectra. And so we can download this as a spreadsheet and get, get this kind of spreadsheet where in the first tab, is the A1.5 um, graphs with G and blue, D and red, and then black is AM0. And so AM0 is, has more irradiance than the A1.5G, while the A1.5D has less irradiance than G because G includes scattered sunlight and direct sunlight, while direct is only direct sunlight, no scattered sunlight. And so that's why there is less uh, solar irradiance or uh, solar or sunlight um, hitting Per meter squared and uh, this spectral irradiance is in watts per meter squared per nanometer and so it's showing how much uh, sunlight is hitting the earth at certain meter squared for a certain wavelength since we're graphing versus wavelength here in nanometers and so the graph of interest currently for us is a 1.5 g where we see this in blue and so in order to calculate the total intensity we need to integrate this curve, um, the spectral irradiance versus wavelength, we need to integrate this curve in order to find the total intensity in watts per meter squared uh, to find how much uh, total intensity can we get from this AM1.5G spectra for all the wavelengths that we see here. And so in the second tab, you can see that Enron provided in the first column wavelength, B column is the AM0, C is AM1.5G, and D is AM1.5D spectra. And so we're going to focus on the AM1.5G spectra. So this is the solar radiance and this is the wavelength. So I'm going to delete the AM0 and AM1.5D since we want to integrate specifically the AM1.5G spectra. So we'll delete that. And so we have the raw data here for AM1.5G. Next, what we'll do is integrate the uh, spectra. And so we can do it in multiple ways. The way I'm going to do it is, um, you can see that it isolated to the A1.5G spectra uh, since I deleted the other spectra. And you can see that um, to integrate the area in Excel, what I can do is use the trapezoidal area equation. So in order to find the area under the curve for A1.5G in order to integrate it, what we can do is use the trapezoidal area formula in order to estimate the total area under the A1.5G spectra. And so what we can do is it's make this equal to 0 0.5 times, and we need to find the height, which can be from here to here, and then multiply it with the sum of the bases, which are here plus this value. And so that gives our first value. From here, we can then um, double click in order to continue calculating the trapezoidal area for all of these raw data points. And so I can double click right here. And then all of the data points here are shown where you can find that it's finding the sum of the trapezoidal areas for each step of the wavelength and for the corresponding AM1.5G measured values. So this is our trapezoid area calculation. And then now we, in order to integrate the total area, we can just sum the total. So this is going to be the total intensity for AM1.5G spectra. And we can just sum from here all the way down and find that it is about equal to 1000 watts per meter squared. To find a more exact value, we can um, we can ask for more sig figs. So 
And so this is our total intensity for A125G. So we're able to show and calculate that um, it is consistent with our expectation of a 125 g spectra with 1,000 watts per meter squared. We can do the same calculation with MATLAB, which will um, be more efficient in terms of if you wanted to integrate the other um, areas of the areas of the other A1.5 or A0 spectra. What you can do is use MATLAB. And so here in MATLAB, we can do the same calculation as what we saw in Excel where we found that to calculate the total intensity, we can use this formula of the trapezoidal area and specify what the x and y uh, variables are. And so in this case, the wavelength in nanometers and the AM1.5G spectra measured in watts per meter squared per nanometer, that is the uh, solar irradiance. We can specify that we want to not have scientific no uh, notation and have more significant digits and then tell it that after it calculates the trapezoidal area, print the total intensity for the a 1.5 g And so if we run this, you can find that the total intensity is 1,000.37 watts per meter squared. And so that is our total intensity for the a 1.5 g spectra. Uh, this is consistent with our calculation from the Excel, where we found that total intensity is about 1,000.37 and so this is consistent with both, um, and you can use either one for calculating the AM1.5G total intensity.